All right, let's now shift our attention to the United States, where former United States Vice President Joe Biden has launched his 2020 presidential bid after months of speculation. Now, Biden has, in fact, become the 20th Democrat to enter the race to the White House. Now, Joe Biden, who served as the Vice President under President Barack Obama from 2008 till 2016, has entered the extremely crowded race as a bit of a front runner. Now, the man who is 76 years old launched his campaign with a scathing attack on President Donald Trump and said that his fight was against everything that Trump had embraced. He's also accused Trump of racism and has criticized the president's handling of the violence during a white supremacist rally in the U.S. city of Charlottesville in 2017. That I will support and defend the That's why today I'm announcing my candidacy for president of the United States. Folks, America's an idea. An idea that's stronger than any army, bigger than any ocean, more powerful than any dictator or tyrant. It gives hope to the most desperate people on earth. It guarantees that everyone is treated with dignity and gives hate no safe harbor. It instills in every person in this country the belief that no matter where you start in life, there's nothing you can achieve if you work at it. That's what we believe. And above all else, that's what's at stake in this election. We can't forget what happened in Charlottesville. Even more important, we have to remember who we are. This is America. All right, so that was Joe Biden's message to the people of America as he's launched his presidential bid. And President Donald Trump has also taken a jibe at Joe Biden, saying that he hoped that the former vice president was intelligent enough to survive what he called was a nasty race. Now, quite a few Democrats have already vowed to back the veteran leader, but Joe Biden has said that he's asked Barack Obama not to endorse him. If you are the best choice for the Democrats in 2020, why didn't President Obama endorse you? I asked President Obama not to endorse, and he doesn't want to. We should, whoever wins this nomination should win it on their own merits. All right, that's an interesting bit of a argument that's been put out by Joe Biden, where he said that he has asked Obama not to endorse him. Remember, Biden has a long road to the White House. White House. Before challenging Trump, he will have to secure the nomination from his own party. And Biden, who also ran for presidency back in the years 2008 and in the year 1988, is expected to face some pretty tough competition from his compatriots, despite being the leading candidate. Now, those who pose a threat to, Bo to Joe Biden include Bernie Sanders, who lost the Democratic nomination against Hillary Clinton in 2016. He, of course, is considered a very strong contender. However, Biden's run comes amidst allegations of sexual misconduct. Earlier this month, Democrat Lucy Flores had alleged that Biden had touched her inappropriately during a 2014 event. Now, soon after Flores' allegations were made public, old videos of Joe Biden apparently behaving what can only be described as inappropriately with women began surfacing. Now, Biden has denied the allegations of sexual misconduct, saying that he had not once acted inappropriately with any woman. I will support and defend 